If you're used to using A roads or motorways, you'll know what you're looking at when you're driving at speed. A couple of cars ahead of you, the odd white line, and maybe some road signs. But what are Formula One drivers looking out for and actually focusing on when they're driving flat out on a track? We've teamed up with Toby, the world leaders in eye tracking technology, to find out. To help, we've got one of the most talented drivers in world motorsport. Nico Hülkenberg won Le Mans while racing in a full F1 season last year, which proves his pure speed, racecraft and versatility. His Force India team are also at our disposal for the afternoon to try and uncover the secrets behind the visor. These state-of-the-art glasses are actually just mounting frames for five tiny infrared cameras. They sense eyeball movement and transpose it onto a forward-facing micro camera. So not only does this track the position and focus of Hülkenberg's eyes, it also allows us to measure reaction times while giving us the first true camera angle of what a Formula One driver sees. But while it's all a new point of view for us, it's old hat for the driver. Do you ever think about or analyse what you're looking at when you're driving on circuit or what you're looking for? Not really, to be honest. I think that's something you know very natural for us and you just do it instinctively. On a hot lap, you know, we're really looking from apex to apex, obviously looking ahead. Um, but it's, yeah, it will be interesting to see um, what happens and there might be some surprises. First of all, the eyes have to adjust from a dark garage to a bright sunny circuit. But once they do, the big surprise is how busy the eye is. This is partly because the human eye has a relatively small focal point, so it makes for a pretty lousy camera. But luckily, the brain is a brilliant processor and fills in the gaps to create what we call peripheral vision. The quick movement of the eye between focus points is called a saccade. And what makes the best F1 drivers different to you and me is that they can train their brain to speed up these movements and understand the new information quicker, thereby taking in and processing more information than us mere mortals could ever hope to do. It's like some kind of super sense. For example, let's analyze leaving the pit lane and joining the track. Nico instinctively checks the mirror, but it only takes him 100 milliseconds, what we know is a tenth of a second. This is approaching the shortest amount of time a human can look at something and take in the information he sees. On the road, you or I would typically need a minimum of half a second to look in our rear view mirrors and be able to recognize an object. Okay, we're gonna see how fast his reaction times are to the light. So I'm being Charlie Whiting, I've got control uh, of the start lights. We'll see what he's looking at, how much he's aware, how much intensely he's focusing on the lights, and then how fast is his reaction. Go. Sounded pretty fast to me. Let's have a look at that in closer detail. When red turns green, eye tracking data reveals that Nico's reaction time is near enough superhuman. He fixates on the red light and when it changes to green, his reaction time is just under 100 milliseconds. That's quicker than a tenth of a second. In athletics, anything below a tenth of a second is typically considered unhuman and therefore a full start. But they're reacting to the sound of a starting pistol. F1 drivers' visual reactions to lights are on a different level. Now let's focus on how to be quick, and in part, that's making sure you hit your apex. Approaching the corner, Nico focuses in on the apex that he can see clearly outside his front left tyre. Combining what he can see with the speed he can feel through his body, his brain knows the maximum speed that his car will go round that corner without spinning off. Just focusing here from apex to apex, look into the apex, clip the curve, feel what the car does with your body, um, just react with the with everything you have. Interestingly, Hülkenberg spends a few seconds fixated on the apex. He's not looking down the road because that, in a sense, doesn't matter. It's getting the corner right that gives good lap time. The other thing to note is how little he looks at his buttons, switches, instruments and steering wheel. Since the rev counter and dash display are at the bottom of his peripheral vision, Hülkenberg can take in all that information without specifically shifting his focus and still make all the complex calculations he needs to when driving. For example, coming into the pits. Hülkenberg looks for the very clear black and white pit sign that denotes the start of the pit lane speed limit. It's a quick left and then right, and then an automatic reflex to push the green neutral button. But what the eye tracking technology shows us 
is that he's not even looking at the button. What he's looking out for is the striped glove of the front left mechanic. That is his visual reference point for a pit stop or a quick nose change. When you consider all of this, it's understandable why the likes of Nico Hülkenberg seem relaxed and calm out of the car. While they might seem like chilled out sportsmen, what they're really doing is just saving mental energy for what really matters when the visor comes down on a Sunday afternoon. And that's racing.